50 chefs, there are footmen, there are underbutlers. The wine will be, will be starting to get chilled. The, the decanting will be going on. It'll be a hive of activity, all to make this day a memorable one for Meghan and Harry. Yeah, and I guess that, you know what, we sometimes forget that they are human beings and they will be nervous, and I can't help thinking about Prince William, who's going to be doing that best man speech, and that's always, there's always a lot of pressure on the best man. Do you think yes. he'll be feeling that? There will be a lot of pressure around William because it's time for him to get his own back, and it's time for him to tell everyone how naughty Harry has been. Well, we know he's a naughty boy, but I bet he'll mention that speech. He'll, in that speech, he'll mention um, those naughty times in Las Vegas, maybe the naked, naked pool party, <laughs> or perhaps when, when Diana, br Diana brought home some of the most beautiful women in the world to, to see her boys. She brought home Naomi Campbell and Elmer Fearson. Today you're wearing the tie that she gave you and, and the cufflinks. And as you say, it'll be interesting tomorrow to see how they've remembered her throughout the day, because I think that will be very, very important. And I think the public would expect that. People would expect that, wouldn't they? Yes, yes. The public are invited. The public will be there. The public will be part of it. And the beauty of having a wedding at Windsor is the fact this is in the countryside. It's not in the city. And there's a warmth here. The sun will shine. It will be a fantastic day and one which we will never forget because, Di because Diana's little boy is getting married and we all want him to be happy. We certainly do. Paul, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I really appreciate your insights. Thank you very much indeed.